Well, a woman in Japan uses food to create some pretty impressive art. And how about adding a little rouge to your knee? Yeah. Cody, stand by with your news of the weird. Ooh. By the way, uh, all morning long, I've been pitching really bad show ideas to Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. He's like, lose my, lose my info. I was like, bowtie weatherman by day, at night serial killer. <laughs> uh, a You've man been yet? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like Dexter, but with a bowtie. Uh, a man can't believe his luck on finding the phone he dropped in a lake a year ago, and it still works. What? Yeah, a man in Taiwan accidentally lost his uh, iPhone 11 while paddling on a lake back in March of 2020. More than a year later, he got the phone back and was surprised when he realized it still works. That's crazy. The man did say he had to put his phone in a waterproof protective case in case he happened to drop it. Okay. Due to the lack oh. of rain this year, the levels of the lake dropped. After a quick trip, the man was able to find his phone. After cleaning it and charging it, he was surprised. Yep, it worked. Wow. Huh. What? Those, those cases well, are the, good. Yeah, the waterproof case worked man. then, I guess. Yeah. Wow. See, he needs to be in a commercial. Yeah. What is this, otter? Is it an otter, otter box? box? I'm guessing so. Wow. That's pretty waterproof. Impressive. Uh, we have a blast from the past to mix with a bit of weirdness. Turns out, back in the 1920s, knee makeup was all the rage. Totally. What? Ooh, oh my goodness, that is... <laughs> scandalous. So scandalous. <laughs> it started 20s. out as knee rouge, and then it turned into full-on knee painting. Well, now. <laughs> According to historians, this trend suddenly uh, started suddenly when the dressers started uh, going to, uh, it started to get a little bit shorter. Uh, the knee painting was done as an added look at me effect. Uh, and oh, the you don't uh, say. musical Annie, uh -huh. they talk about rouging your knees. They do? Mm hmm. Rouge your knees. I had no idea what that meant. Now you know. Hey, hey, hey. Give I know it's a 10 o'clock hour, <laughs> but that's way too sexy for more than All right. We wrap things up with some edible art. Who said you can't play with your food? The talented bento artist from Hiroshima, Japan, according to a recent Whoa. interview, said it all started when he started making bento boxes for her husband to take to work. Then one day she decided to try and make take some pictures of his favorite characters from TV series and manga. And now it's turned into a, an entire thing. She posts of her work wow. on her Instagram pages. She's really Look, good. So she not only makes her husband's lunch every day, she includes this artwork in it? Yeah. Weird! <laughs> it is. Well, it's just <laughs> unbelievable. That it's fantastic. Beautiful yeah. and cool and... Weird! Yeah, nobody would do that for me. Yeah. <laughs> the detail, my goodness. Uh, Mary Ann's husband Scott? used to get up with her when she got up. And sometimes he'd make her coffee and breakfast and talk to her. I never knew that. And I used to say that to Carol. I was like, isn't that so nice that Scott would do that? You want to start doing that? She's like, no! Uh, when, when Corey and I were dating, she would get up occasionally with me, and that, that is long gone. Aww. Now it's turn your alarm off, get out of bed. Yeah. Quit hitting snooze, you yeah. big jerk. Yeah. Bye. Good stuff. All right. Thanks, Code.